Hey guys, uh, welcome. Uh, this is my Mac Pro uh, early 2008 um, edition, which I recently updated the uh, to the ATI Radon 3870, and also added a second uh, 3870 for Crossfire in Windows, which is really nice. Um, so I'll be running uh, 3D Marco 6 just to show you uh, what the performance is like uh, with the Crossfire configuration. Uh, let me show you the uh, computer itself. This is the uh, single quad core uh, Xeon E5462, uh, I believe, um, at 2.8 gigahertz. I didn't feel the need to have the 8 core at the moment, so uh, it helps with all my video editing and uh, audio editing from the Mac OS. Um, but let me open up the uh, case here. Um, as you can see, I've updated the uh, cooling on the uh, 3870s to the Arctic cooling uh, heat sink, which is really nice. Um, and uh, of course, the airflow in my Mac is uh, very, very well constructed. Um, there's two 120 millimeter fans, uh, one up here and then one down for the CPU and memory. The air blows uh, through and goes through the CPU and then of course the memory here um, and blows out the back of the case. Um, and the same for the top fan straight over and uh, really uh, air goes over the heat sinks really nicely um, the way the fins are and blows right through the back um, I did have to up the speed of the fans just a little bit um, to uh, 1600 RPMs from 900 uh, just to give a little bit better airflow but uh, it's excellent um, it's really not much louder so uh, uh, it's not bad at all not bad at all I do have the uh, GPUs overclocked to a uh, 850 megahertz from 777. Um, I do not have the memory overclocked. Um, the performance gain wasn't really much. Um, I might do that later. Uh, but it cools very nicely. I think they stay at about 37 degrees Celsius idle and about uh, between 50 and 55 at full load under a crisis. Um, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, each one requiring a 6 pin power adapter. So I had, uh, the Mac Pro comes with two from the board, as you can see back up in there. I uh, don't know if you can see that real well. Um, so enough power, not too bad, um, and uh, does a nice job. I currently have four gigs of RAM, uh, which does pretty well. I'll be upgrading to eight soon for my uh, Final Cut and uh, Logic uh, stuff that I do. Um, so there it is. The second uh, 3870 Radon is a Sapphire. Uh, I bought that from Newegg, um, $99. Um, so combined with the Mac Edition, which runs in PC uh, side or the Mac side, um, and uh, this one communicates uh, on the Windows side in Crossfire, Crossfire cable. Um, no problems at all. In the Mac OS, it just recognizes that it's another card, but uh, doesn't do anything. So, and there's no fans or anything that kick on high or anything like that. So, very, very, very nice. Now we can see where the benchmark is at. Uh, frames are not too bad. This is my Westinghouse 22-inch monitor. I got for. Uh, around two hundred dollars on sale. It's pretty nice. Now, if you can see the frame rates, not too bad. I'll also be showing some uh, benchmarks from Crisis and. Uh, Call of Duty um, later on if anybody wants to see those. Um, it does pretty well until I'm at least able to get a uh, gaming PC. Um, this will should hold me over for a little while. Um, does pretty well. I am running um, on uh, Windows X 64 bit um, on the Windows side. Uh, runs very well, uh, very efficiently. 
never had any stability problems, um, for sure. It's nice because it reads all 4 gigs of my RAM. Um, there are still a couple things, though, that don't quite work um, exactly on par. Um, some programs that I used to use and things, but uh, that's uh, what you get for using 64-bit. But it's nice. see what the score is. This of course is just the demo, so and there it is. Fifteen thousand thirty three. Uh Smart Shader two a score of five thousand five hundred forty six. Smart Shader three uh, 7,399 and CPU score of 4,288 uh, only three similar systems like that so it's pretty cool and there it is thanks